song? The educators have specialized expertise in nature and all of those things that we don't have in our family either. And so it's a great place to learn about those important things. Welcome to Norfolk Forest School, Southern Ontario's original forest school, where we focus on inquiry-based, play-based, and child-led education. Our classes are age four to six, seven to 10, and our new three-year-olds in our preschool. Here we take the philosophy that when you're holding a bug, you're learning to respect living things, you're taking care of it, you're learning empathy, putting yourself in the place of, of that living thing. It's really satisfying to see them learn every day. Every day at the forest school is so meaningful because they're finding so many interesting things throughout the property and they get so excited for everything. Whoa! Look at that! Let's go show that to Laura and the gang. Even things as an outdoor educator, we try to point out things that we know and that we see, but so often they'll point things out to us and we can learn uh, together. I found a melopee. I found a melopee. I would recommend Forest School to other families. It's a great way for kids to spend time outside, especially if, like us, you're not super outdoorsy, but you know and you recognize how important that is for kids just to spend time in nature. And, you know, we see differences in his behavior as well. Just after he spent time outside, he's learning new things and new skills, self-regulation skills, things like that. It's just, it's been a great experience for our family. You're gonna put it in your head, you're gonna hold your ear so it doesn't get out so that you can turn into a very special animal. Are you ready? They're very- I want to be a jaguar. They're, it's not a jaguar brain, I'm sorry. You ready? You gonna catch it? Whoosh! Oh, <laughs> put it in your head. Hold yours, uh oh, it's wiggling. It's oh. wiggling, it's trying to get out. Push keep it in, down. keep Push. it in. Okay, Whew. it's in. Now the brain I gave you guys is a flying squirrel. Oh. Flying squirrel brain. Now, flying squirrels, they are safe when they are in their trees. So you are going to be safe while you're touching one of these trees along the trail. If you're touching it, you are safe. But you can only touch your tree for three seconds. One, two, three, and then I have to leave. I have to find a new tree to be safe in. And when you're moving from tree to tree, you have to watch out that the owl, Eagle. owl doesn't eat you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. If you get touched by them, that means you are an owl. You turn into in the owl. Four, three, two, one. Why are you even touching a tree? I'm not touching a tree. Follow me. Hello, Ezra. Hello, Ezra. Oh. Ezra to get that lifelong learning, not just about plant and animal identification, but they also get that lifelong um, passion for the outdoors and the wisdom that comes from being in the woods and among the trees. And they, they'll take that with them the rest of their lives. For the rest of their life, they'll, um, they'll have that knowledge, appreciation, and that, that pull to get back into the woods. <laughs> Socialization is definitely a, a big part of our day, just cooperating and respect for others and getting along with each other. Conflict resolution when there is a problem. There was a fight over a stick today, so how to resolve that conflict of whose stick it is and the steps you take to have a conversation with somebody about a problem is definitely a big part of our day. Need a pile of very, very small stuff. 
When they change into a butterfly, what do they go into? Chrysalis. Chrysalis. So if there's a hole at the end, what I think happened is I think the bug came out. The benefits that we've seen of Forest School, he just loves spending the time outside. He looks forward to, he comes one day a week and he's in the public system the rest of the week. And he just looks forward to his days outside with his friends. It's been really good for him. He comes home every day. He's so happy, excited to share the things he's learned. What is it? Man, I think there's so much dirt. That's something that can happen when you're in mud. This will be your child's classroom. 